Hey everybody, it's Mark out here today at East Cape. Uh, behind me, another 2013 Vantage. Uh, I like this boat uh, only because it was built like my last one and uh, uh, reminds me a lot of my last boat, so I'm, I'm a little sick because I want my boat back, Mr. Jeffrey. Uh, start on the trailer like we always do. It's a Ramlin painted over galvanized, uh, baked on polyurethane paint. Uh, it's white, got a spare tire, Fulton Jack, Fulton, Fulton winch cover. Uh, pretty cool trailer. Uh, all, remember, all these trailers are custom fit to the line of boat that you buy from us. Uh, this trailer fits the Vantage perfectly. Top of the boat, uh, let's go over here. We've got an iPilot 24 volt trolling motor system. Uh, it's the one with a bigger remote. Uh, it's, in my opinion, a must have these days. That way you can do a lot of other things while you're working the trolling motor. It's pretty cool. And Graham's getting mad because I'm rambling on, so I'll just go ahead and cut to the chase and keep it simple. Uh, next to that, we've got a cleat. Uh, so if you want to tie off uh, to the dock or anchor up, bang, you know what it's for. Uh, casting platform sitting over the uh, the hatch. Once again, it's the, in my opinion the best spot for it because you could jump in front of it, fight a fish, get back on it for visibility. Um, sea deck on the casting platform, a must have for your feet. Move and plug down here on the bulkhead. And that's so uh, if he's taking a bunch of waves, he's posted up on the beach taking waves, they're not getting into that plug. They have to go down here and wrap around and go underneath to actually hit it. So it's a pretty cool little setup um, if you don't mind that cable on the deck. Uh, Two tone finish, all grip uh, finish on the deck. Um, beautiful color, it's a custom color. It's almost like ice blue, but with a little more white uh, on the blue, and then of course a, uh, an off white uh, to, to give a little contrast. Uh, jump seat center console, um, the newer one, uh, like in the last video I talked about, it having a built in flush face on it. The way it's positioned, it's perfect for uh, visibility when you're driving. I love it. Uh, my boat, if I ever get a chance to build another one, we'll have that in there. Custom rod holders on the side, courtesy of our in house weld shop. Uh, grab handles for the passengers on both sides, 12 volt plug. Puts his phone in there, spotlight, whatever. Anything 12 volt will work off that. It's got an iPod setup, iPod stereo setup in here. V Marine push pole clips, the removable kind. Uh, very cool because uh, when you're not, uh, say, you're fishing Port Canaveral or something at night and fish for snook, you don't need a push pole. It's 40 feet deep. Take those bad boys off. There are no toe stubbers on the boat and uh, no push pole in the way. You're good to go. Seat cushions, standard. They come on the boat. Really thick, really comfortable. Um, e Tech 150 HO. A beast of a motor for this boat. It's the motor I used to have on my boat. Love the motor. Uh, speeds are anywhere from 58 to 64 miles an hour. We had this boat running about 62 the other day out of Tampa Bay. Um, nice and fast, solid ride. Love it. Keyboard push bolt holder on top. That sea deck on top. Um, power pole blade. Check out the footage. Uh, you're going to see some cool run shots. Hopefully, Graham will give you some good stuff. And uh, that's about it, man. Thank you. Peace.